Welcome Aquarius and Cross Watchers. This is Mystic Intuition bringing you a general love reading. Please know there are always timestamps in the description box for those of you that want to skip ahead. Please know that time is fluid so this can resonate for you past, present, or future. If it does not resonate and even if it does be sure to check out your moon, your rising, and your Venus signs for additional messages and guidance. Alright. Surrender, denial, accept people and situations exactly as they are without denying the difficulties. Then you can see things clearly and make the best decisions. And then we have conclusions are within reach. Okay. What is the energy here, please, for the collective? Aquarius, Sun, Moon Rising, and Venus, please. Is somebody looking for a job? That's for somebody. Um, sorry, if, you, if my throat feels strained, I'm still sick trying to, trying to get over it, okay? So bear with me. Alrighty. Seven of Swords. Okay, so here's what I think. This person, uh, what they're not telling you. Excuse me, hold on. Sorry about that. What they're not telling you is a part of them is like really worried about their finances. This person's having a lot of concerns, possibly about their stability. Now they want to offer you something more, but I do feel like this person's trying to get themselves in order before they introduce you to their family and get everything like, you know, moving forward in the right direction. They're trying to kind of get themselves taken care of. I think this person actually may not tell you that they have a lot more debt than they actually you know said let's see clear messages guidance any additional messages here okay what flip the family room this came for Pisces too under the deck we do have poverty we just talked about it this person yeah ooh now, high honor and family room both came out for Pisces. So for some of you, you definitely could be dealing with one or have that element in your chart. You may want to check that reading out as well. But it's very clear here, so I'm going to read it like I see it. I think this person, number one, they could already be married. That could be a part of this, okay? Uh, like they may have to separate with someone that may really affect their finances a lot. They may not be able to afford to actually do that. Um, for others of you, though, they do want to get married to you. They do, they do want to move forward with you. They want a life with you. Okay? That's their intention with you. They want commitment. Okay? But I think this person really knows you deserve more than they can actually give to you at this moment. Because they are really struggling with their finances. Like, they may be trying to make it appear like their business is doing really well. You know, appearance, like, it may seem that way. But they don't want to just come out in the open. Like they're very good at masking it, hiding it. And I don't feel like they're keeping the secret to like destroy you or, you know, manipulate you. But I think they're just really ashamed to really say this, okay? Um, and I think that once you're able to have this discussion with this, some of the problems, things they've been kind of holding back from really talking about, you're going to understand a lot more about the situation and why things have not progressed the way that you hoped that they would. Like why this person seems to still be holding back or holding on to something. So, you definitely could be dealing with uh, a Sagittarius. Okay, we do have fire here, strong Sagittarius. Good old with an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. We have a little bit of earth. We do have Taurus energy very strongly here. Yeah. The issue is this person is actually struggling financially. They tr really try very hard to show appearance-wise to the rest of the world that they're doing really well. They're very well off. But I think this person is extremely stressed and probably in a good amount of debt. And you're trying to figure out how you can find balance with this person, maybe doing your research, kind of reading between the lines, figuring out what's going on with this person because you feel kind of blindsided by all of this. It feels like they may be giving you like mixed signals or making you kind of confused about things. You're going to get the answers you've been looking for, okay? This person, they are extremely worried. 
this is known as a nightmare card, fear, worry, insecurity. I think they, they definitely owe money to people. And I think that or there's like a, like a large mortgage. They're not bringing in the amount of money that they used to or something like that. They're really worried about losing everything. Like that's their primary focus at this time. Like they can't offer you. And I know some of you are thinking, I don't really care about the money. And I know you don't. I don't care about the money. It's, it is not about that. We don't have to have the nicest house on the block. You know, as long as we work together and they're open. I mean, I love this person. I'll accept them. I get it. You know, hard, times are hard, you know. But this person wants to make a good impression on you. And they're like, I can't even afford to take care of myself right now, let alone, you know, buy a home for us to live in. Or, you know, I'm trying to get my finances in order, get myself straight. That's kind of their perspective at this point. The thing about it is, they're just so ashamed to tell you this. Okay? Um, they don't know how to bring this up without making you feel like they're less than or, you know, because they don't think that you... I think this person tries really hard to kind of impress you. And like really look like they've kind of got it all together they don't want you to think less than them like oh you know you know stuff happens right things are moving really slow but i think you're afraid that it's moving too slow and that this person excuse me sorry i'm, I'm, I'm really working on this throat y'all i'm trying so hard all right all right i'm good <laughs> and then i feel like for this person they're just like I want to offer you so much, but I don't have it to give. Like, I want to be able to buy you a nice ring, or I want to be able to buy us a nice home to live in, or I want to be able to contribute to things financially instead of, you know, have you collectively add to my current debt that you don't know about. Things are really hard right now. And you're feeling like this person just unsure about you. You feel like maybe they're undecided or that they're juggling. And for some of you, yeah, for a handful of you, they could already be married, but I don't think that's for the collective, for everyone. Um, but I do feel like this person... They're struggling with finances right now. That's what's going on. It says, A Lannister always pays his debts. This person's very prideful. I think their thoughts about you here with the Page of Spears. You're very excited. You know, you're very... You know, enthusiastic. You, you know, you have a lot of fun together. They really enjoy your energy. For some of you, they could have acquired a lot of this debt when they were younger. Or could have to do with children. They see you as the one. Okay, they do. They see you as the person they want to be with, they want to build a life with, they want to move forward with cancer energy. They like you a lot. They really have strong feelings for you. They see you as the person they want to be with. But they don't feel like they can give you that right now. It's Pisces energy here. They're holding back because they're currently struggling trying to kind of get things caught up. They're ashamed. Accept people and situations exactly as they are. But it's like all they have to really do here is, you know, come forward and explain some things to you. Let you understand so that you can, not that you can have to help them financially, but so that you can be supportive. You know, you're going to find a better job or you'll get through this or I'm here for you if you need to talk about it. Like, you know, whatever it is, like just letting you know because it's like you're, you're kind of getting confused and thinking that maybe they don't have the same interest in you or they don't want the same things and it's making you doubt the relationship down your place with them that's more damaging than anything you know than them just being honest and truthful about everything their feelings they feel like maybe you have gotten really suspicious of them they feel like you really want answers and you're, and you're like you really had it with their behavior what is their feelings here for you Like, something's really changed. There's distance between the two of you. They feel like you may sense this, and it's all kind of happened kind of quickly. Like, yes, you know, you still have fun, and there may be some communication here, and definitely attraction and flirtation and stuff like that, but you seem like they're working a lot, and you feel like things have kind of really shifted overnight. Things have just kind of happened kind of quickly. It's like all kind of... What is the right word, please? I almost get, like, suspicion, like... I don't understand like we were fine and then all of a sudden you completely shift you completely change and how can I trust you now but what they're holding back with their hiding it's not some other person they're seeing or trying to work together with it's like whatever something happened okay something happened unexpectedly for them they may have lost a lot of money you know there could have been like a divorce it, it all kind of happened at once there could have been like a a project at work or something like that that fell through an investment that went wrong Scorpio energy with the 
Ten of Pentacles, though, their intentions, they do want to be with you and they want to offer you some kind of stability, but not just that. I mean, they really want you to feel the abundance, you know, that they can offer. They want you to have nice things. They don't want you to just settle, you know. This person's very prideful. They don't want, yeah, they don't want you to be disappointed. You know, they, they don't want you to have to struggle with them. That's kind of part of it. That's why they're kind of holding back. They do want to make things right here. They do want to offer you some kind of apology, some kind of expression here. Their actions with the hair font. This is a lot of times talks about like learning a situation. Taurus energy. Yeah. They might be telling you that they're really nervous about some type of project that they're, that they're offered to work on. It may involve some kind of travel. But I think they are going to be opening it up to you. They see this so that, that could kind of get them that could begin to kind of work things in their favor. They're excited for this. But I think this is like them learning from something and figuring something out. It also could even be asking some kind of family for support. Like someone to kind of back them or help them out of a situation. It may not be easy. And it's hard, but like they're having to se separate their pride to do this so that they can get on the right track. But I do feel like this person ultimately wants commitment with you. And I think they will kind of open up about some of this. They will start beginning to be honest and it'll make you feel more certain of the relationship. Are they going to be struggling with this issue forever? No. But I do feel like right now that's kind of been what's been, you know, challenging the relationship. And they've just been too afraid, too ashamed to say that, you know. Because you do view them highly. You know, you wouldn't suspect this about this person at first meeting them. They seem very you know, intelligent and, you know, well invested. Like you would not suspect this person to really be struggling behind the scenes. But appearances are very important. So this person will kind of come clean about some of this. And you'll, be, you'll, have, you'll have the opportunity to discuss some of this. It'll make you feel more at ease. So that is what I have for you. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for liking, sharing, and subscribing. As always, I wish you strength and many blessings. Bye-bye.